Here we have Ashes of the Singularity running at P1080 on crazy settings. Now Ashes is one of these games which really really challenge an entire system. But here at P1080 you can see our average frame rates we got was only 25 frames per second. So very 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 low. And under heavy loads it dropped down to 23 frames per second. So this wouldn't really qualify as, um, as playable. Now this is on our good place to start computer with the um, 6700K upgrade and 16 gig RAM. Um, what you could see the rest of the system can handle up to about 80 frames per second which is excellent. So it says we're really uh, graphics card limited here with the 970 G1 gaming. Um, what you can see down here this this is how much frames per second the CPU could handle as the screen. As you can see, we're consistently way above the um, total score, which is basically GPU limited at um, this setting. So at crazy settings, definitely not uh, not an option. Now, what we did is we skipped a few levels. We've s skipped extreme, and and uh, we've gone straight to high settings here, still at P1080. And now you can see here we're a bit more closely matched. Here there's the graphics card isn't as far behind um, the CPU as in the first example. As we've got an average of 52 frames per second and we could handle 88. So it, it's still a, a room for a lot larger graphics card in this specific setup. Under heavy loads we drop down to 46 frames per second which is still playable for a for a strategy game. It isn't isn't bad, although we did see in high that the, if in really heavy loads occasionally it um, dropped quite a bit lower. As this is the average, it isn't the the minimum uh, we that we saw. Then um, if we take it down to standard settings, then um, we're seeing basically an average of almost 60 frames per second. And we can see we're a lot uh, closer matched here. And in the normal batches, we actually were waiting on um, system resources about 4% of the time. And um, medium batches about 2% of the time, uh, waiting on the system instead of the graphics card. And you can see our curves here are much closer matched again. And this is, we'd probably recommend the standard settings at P1080, plan and simply because we saw less of the super low frame rates um, occurring during the actual uh, benchmarking there. Here we have Ashes of the Singularity um, running on our good place to start computer with the 6700K and we're testing the 970 G1 gaming here. Um, this is on crazy settings at 2K. As you can see our average frame rates were very very low. We got just under 23 frames per second. Uh, the rest of the system could still handle quite good frames, giving about 80 frames per second. And the lowest average we saw here was 21, but we saw the actual frame rate drop away below that, as this is the average, not the the lowest. As you can see here, we got quite a big spread between what the rest of the system's resources can handle, which is um, the green, and what the actual score was, which is the blue, which is in, in this case GPU limited. But we wouldn't have expected it to be able to run it crazy. So let's skip a few settings and go all the way down to standard. Now standard is what we'd recommend at P1080 for this card. As we can see here, we're getting playable but not ideal frame rates here. We um, are getting 2% uh, of cases under the normal and medium batches where we're actually waiting on the system and not on the graphics card. but we, you can see there's a lot of room for improvement in terms of the graphics card here. And we, our curves are a bit closer matched. But we did see under heavy batches it actually drop on occasion quite a bit lower than um, the 43 frames. as That's an average. So we would not recommend um, the normal gameplay on standard. Unfortunately, the, it, to get a perfectly... Oops, to get a perfectly smooth um, frame rate, we'd have to drop all the way down to low. Where here we getting over 60 frames per second average and the overall experience seemed very nice and smooth. If you're not looking to like, um, create two huge bat battles and just looking for a low unit count game, you can probably run it here on standard. Although if you're looking to experience the full scale of the game, unfortunately at 2K you're looking at low settings. Here we have Ashes of the Singularity running at 4K. And this is again the good place to start platform with the 6700K. 
um, <laughs> the 970 G1 gaming really, really struggled at um, at 4K on crazy settings. We saw an average frame rate of just 15 frames per second, but it's what we expected. As you can see here, the rest of the system resources are quite high. Your actual, where we're limited by the graphics card is right down here. It's only very occasionally where we spiked up to a higher frame rate. So this, let's skip quite a few quality levels and go all the way to standard. At standard, um, we're still seeing very low frame rates. We're seeing 36 frames per second average. You can see we're getting a little bit closer to um, the matching uh, the graphics card to the system resources, but this still we wouldn't really consider playable as the average frame rates are above 30, but your minimum dropped way below it. And we saw very low frame rates there. So unfortunately at 4K, you'd have to run it at low settings. And even now you can still see we're limited uh, by the GPU, not by system resources, in st except for normal batches where we actually had a, about 4.5% of the time we were waiting on the system, not on the graphics card. We've got an average of 56 frames per second. And um, we, on, in high batches, in the heavy batches, we only got... Uh, 46 frames it did drop down to about 30 frames per second but so probably say it's still playable but if you're looking to add any more detail you're definitely going to have to set the resolution lower or go for a more substantial graphics card